hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm nia today i'm going to be unboxing my brand new doc martin mule if you're not familiar with my channel i do hauls and unboxings of my favorite things typically shoes and bags so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you can check out all of my other videos here are the docs i ordered them from free people but they are available on the site i'll link multiple options that are available i got them in a size seven doc martens do not come in half sizes i typically just go with the seven i'm technically a seven and a half sometimes i prefer an eight but i know how docs run i've been wearing docs for over 10 years at this point so i got a seven that is my size they wear in as you wear them and i'm really excited for these because these are mules they're right on trend with the Birkenstock wave and it's that cozy comfy but still chic look that I love so I had to get them I also contemplated getting the boots the platform boot versions of them but I was like no I need something that I can wear more casually that's also super comfortable especially for work um, I do also have a video of the Doc Martin platform Chelsea boots um, from about two years ago, and I will link that. I know that video, people reference it often, um, and I will say that I still do have the boots. I still wear them quite often. People do love platforms, but sometimes that's just not what I really want to do for the day. I needed something that was less of a platform and just something that's just really kind of plain, but not too plain. Um, I also was considering getting the platform Mary Janes, but again, I kind of wanted to do the flat look. I didn't really want, I just wanted to try something that was kind of outside of the box. The cow print, I felt like that was good enough. So it was still plain, but not way too plain, which works for me. And funny enough, my first pair of docs, they was, it was a zebra print pair of the like Oxford ones, the low top Oxfords and they had the zebra print fur on it and i didn't want them anymore and my mom donated them and then they were gone and now full circle moment probably like 10 11 years later i'm getting something similar same black and white color still low top but not those so it's funny how things come around so these are the cow print they're wrapped in the Doc Martens wrapping. And here they are. They're so freaking cute. And they have the back strap, which is so helpful for me because I don't know why, but for some reason, when I wear mules that don't have the back strap, I just have like the urge to just take my shoes off. Or like sometimes I'll be walking and then like I'll trip a little bit and then my shoe's gone. Like I cannot. So I'm happy that it has the strap. Um, if you're clumsy like me, it's going to be very helpful. So here it is. It's called just black and white. It does not say cow print, but they're so soft. They're so soft and they're really pretty. And it's not like a super optic white. It's kind of like dull just like how print would typically be and then this black piece is leather and the bottom is the same it does have that Doc Martin logo. Doc Martens were originally made for workers so it has that super sturdy gummy bottom that we all know and love and then on the inside of the shoe it just says Doc Martens in here and now I'm gonna take off the styrofoam to show you guys the buckle and the buckle is just steel these are going to be perfect but so far i really like how they feel they're very sturdy i love the cow print like love the cow print then of course you can adjust them with the buckle and this back strap the other one is wrapped as well This one is the one with the tag attached to it. And it's just the information tag. It folds out and it reads dyed bovine hair, fur origin, China. The uppers of this footwear are made from natural bovine leather upon which a print is applied. 
as such this type of material is not as durable as a standard leather to clean brush gently with soft hairbrush only okay this was informative and i hope that people are reading these because people love to ask me like where things originate and it's right here on the tag you know what it's made of and then this way since you know that it's not standard leather to be careful with the product see me with my regular dogs i will walk in a puddle walk through snow i do not care i'm extremely rough on these but obviously with one with the color you'd be more careful like off rip because you don't want to get the white dingy but then also i'm not going to wear these in the rain okay i want to see what might happen to it since it's died I'm going to be very careful with these, unlike I am with my other dogs, because my other dogs have been through a lot, especially the ones that I've had for much longer. They've been through some things. I'm going to try these on and show how they look on my feet once I get this tag off. Okay, so here they are on my feet. These are literally the perfect fit absolutely perfect they feel really cozy they're not rubbing against like anything as i wear them so i didn't even adjust the strap to get them on i just pulled this one closed love that they're not um identical so you can tell you can see the uniqueness in them but here they are close up get a good look of the leather and they're so soft like so soft really cute and i love the heel like these feel like actual shoes my birkenstock mules that i got last year a lot of times like it doesn't feel like anything so it's not very sturdy to walk with but with the way that this rubber sole is these are actually a shoe that is meant to be worn you know what i mean i don't always feel that about my birkenstocks not even just from the color and how they look but because of the but because of the sole like i don't they don't feel like real shoes to wear you know but these are far more wearable in my opinion i mean don't get me wrong i still wear the heck out of my burks but yeah if you wear them you'll know like if you have these and then the burks you'll know so this is how they look close up I'll probably wear these with some like ruffle socks or even slouch socks or do like an ankle pants, no sock moment. I'll probably make a video on how I decide to style them um, for sure. Okay, so here they are close up. I'm really obsessed with these and I'm happy that they are a comfortable fit. But I want to say like I love how they look and I feel like this is going to be like a good surprise to your outfit. Like you can have the most calm chic maybe monochromatic outfit and this would be like a nice little surprise bring it all together you guys know i love like weird ugly shoes like a lot of people might consider these to just be like weird but i love them and i love the details in them and i love love the fur like this is my favorite part honestly when i ordered them i didn't even think about what the material might feel like and then as they were like on their way, I had the epiphany that I've actually had zebra print docks before, but I think mine were actually just the regular leather. I don't think they were the fur. I'm like, I don't know. I'm going back and forth because I cannot remember to save my life and it was so long ago. But these are really cute, really cute. And I prefer the, the mule over the boot. I'll say that these will be just the perfect touch to a very calm chill outfit so i'm excited for that so all in all the shoes are an absolute great fit i'm really excited to have these added to my wardrobe for the fall right now flats and mules and things like that are trendy and i can honestly see this surpassing the trend cycle like this is going to go a long way maybe if i had done like the plain black of course like black just never really goes out of style but i wanted something that was a little bit more out there i had been eyeing the cow print boot versions of these um for some months now but i'm happy that i came across these i actually saw someone wearing them in person 
they said that they wear them like all the time and they love them so I decided to get me a pair I was so happy that I saw that they had these because it made the decision like kind of easy on what I should do because I didn't want to get the Mary Janes the boots and this so this kind of like put it all in one for me also going to be comfortable because they are a perfect fit which i love i didn't experience any rubbing wearing i typically wear really thick socks or double socks when i wear my docks so i'm looking forward to not having to do that with these hopefully i did see some really nice like toe covers on amazon i'm going to try to link those below because if you don't like to have your toes out in a shoe like this with the back out that would be perfect um, but I also am not opposed to wearing them with ruffle socks or soft socks like I mentioned before. So I'm really excited to style these. Stay tuned for a styling video and just like an overall collection of my favorite shoes recently because I know there was a point when I wasn't doing any videos at all. But that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out my other unboxings and hauls, especially my, my platform Chelsea Doc Martin review and my Birkenstock review so you can kind of get a feel for what I mean when it comes to the comparison of the shoes. But that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.